Hi everybody, this is Mike from videoblocks.com. Just gonna show you a quick tutorial here on how to open and edit an After Effects or AE template that you might find on our website. So we're just gonna go through it. We're gonna replace the logo and some text and show you how to export it into an MOV or movie file. All right, let's get started here. So when you download an AE template from our website, it's gonna come in a zip file. The first thing that you need to do is uncompress that. So on a Mac, what you need to do is double click that and it'll open up into that folder right there. On a PC, what you're gonna do is right click that zip file and you'll have an option that says extract all. And you're gonna to wanna to choose extract all and then save that to your desktop. Next, we're gonna open this folder here. What you're gonna see is a preview of the MOV file and inside the folder, you're gonna have options of no plugin or plugin and a readme text. So for our website, you're always gonna choose no plugin. Now all this means is that you won't need any additional plugins for this template. You might see an error occasionally that says a plugin is missing, but since we pre-render the effects, that means it won't affect the template whatsoever. You're gonna have a folder with the footage and the .aep file. So we're gonna go ahead and double click that and open that up. Okay, so here we go. Our After Effects interface is open, and you might see a pop-up that says this version has to be converted from Windows or has to be converted from Mac. You can just say, okay. That just means uh, the original content creator uh, created it in a specific version of After Effects using either a Mac or PC, and it just has to convert over. Okay, the next pop-up you might see is that the following layer dependencies are missing, and that simply means that the contributor used a specific type of font and if you want to mirror that specific type of font, it just has to be installed on your computer. So it won't affect your project at all. So you can just say, okay. Okay, and that's gonna open up right now. And what you're gonna see is all of the different layers, the preview of the logo, and where you're gonna type either your phrase or your website or whatever it is that you wanna put. Okay, so the only work that we need to do is gonna be over here on the left-hand side with folders. You're gonna say, change logo and text here and that's everything that we need to do all right so first we're going to open that up you see change website info here that'll be the text and replace logo text here so first thing that you're going to want to do is import your picture or your logo to replace this one right here now quick note if you want a transparent background you're going to need to use a png with a transparent layer so you can either say file import file and then choose your logo there or you can simply drag and drop it so I'm just gonna do that right now and it's in my project and ready to be edited okay so we'll just go ahead and double click this replace logo text here composition and we'll bring it up next what we need to do is go to lo lower left hand side and we're gonna go ahead and delete that logo next what we have to do is just bring in your logo and drag it in on top till you see that black bar. And it'll fit right in there, and all you have to do is resize it. So you can grab the edge and drag it till it looks about good. And there it is. Okay, and just to make sure that you're looking at everything on this canvas area, all right, and that you're gonna see everything that you're looking at at your movie, uh, exported movie file, you wanna make sure that this right here, this lower left-hand corner says fit. So you'll be able to see how the final product looks. There it is, a slightly better version of my logo there. Okay, so the logo's replaced, it's sized how we want it. Now we need to change the website info. So we're gonna go ahead and double click that composition. It says change text here. I'm gonna click that and it's gonna highlight your website or whatever uh, the holding text is. So we're gonna double click this till it's highlighted and you get this type cursor here. And we'll go ahead and type whatever I want to type, let's say, videoblocks.com. So that's all set to go. It's replaced. And once you click back, you'll see that it's all in place there. So if you want to get a good look at everything that is uh, set in your composition and ready to be rendered out into an MOV file, you can click this render HD 19. Uh, 1920 by 1080 or the render 1280 by 720 depending on the size that you want. 
So that'll just load in a second. Okay, there's everything set to go. You can actually scrub through, and as soon as it plays back, you'll be able to see it update in real time. Okay, there we go. So it looks like it's processing all right. So the next thing that we have to do is add it to the render queue. So first you wanna highlight the type of render that you wanna do, which HD version. I would always recommend doing 1920 by 1080. So click on that and then say, file, export, add to render queue. Now, if you don't have this option, you can say composition, add to render queue. Okay, so next all we have to do or choose the output module. So we're gonna click on that word lossless, that's in yellow. Format QuickTime, so if you don't have that right away, you can drop down, choose QuickTime. Format options, you can do animation, but usually for a good compressed version, we'll recommend H.264. So we'll say okay, okay again, and we'll say output to, so this means that you just need to choose where to save it and what you want to name it as. So we'll say, we'll save this as super cool tutorial. I have to put up with my typing there. Okay. All right. We'll save it to the desktop and we'll say save. Okay. So it looks good. Now all we have to do is render this. So we'll go to the right hand side, click render. Now that's exporting into an MOV file. You'll see it slowly play back, and it'll take anywhere from about five minutes to 25 minutes, depending on how fast your computer is and how complex the template itself is. So we'll go ahead and we'll just skip to the end result and see this MOV file once it's exported. Okay, so I've exported my MOV file here, and it's gone to our desktop just like we directed it to. So I'll just double click this and we'll go ahead and preview it. Okay, looks great. Got an awesome logo come in and then slow fade out at the end. Looks good to go. The playback might be a little slow at first, depending on whether your computer is shutting down After Effects or still uh, making some processing there. So it's all good to go, and you can pop that into any movie file. You'll have an awesome intro, outro, or just text animation. Um, so you should be all set after that, and that's the final step there. All right, so hope you enjoy that tutorial. And if you have any questions, you can always give us a call or email us at Videoblocks, and we're happy to help out. So see you guys next time.